Hi everyone, in this fresh test video tutorial for beginners, I'm going to go walk you through how you can set up automations in fresh test so that they, the tickets when they enter, there are certain things that the fresh test will automatically fill in for you or assign the tickets to anyone to, or of your team member automatically in fresh test. Okay, so if you have not signed up for free 14 day trial for fresh test, you can set up over here or in the link that I put it into the description box down below. And if you sign up the free 14 day trial under me, you are able to get to my support via my Facebook DM. So be sure to Facebook DM me. I'm putting the link down below as well in the descri descriptions. Okay. So now uh, in order to set up the automation. So what does automation in fresh Test do? So the first thing, very important, you want that whenever you receive any tickets, in your fresh test, you want it to be automatically assigned to the particular agent, right? As you guys can see right now, these tickets, when they enter into my fresh test in the ticket, it isn't assigned to any fresh test agents in my fresh test portal. And that is going to consume me a lot of times if I have to assign it one by one. So you guys can make use of the automations in fresh test to do that. So in order to do that, First, go to your menu bar, go over to the admin, this gearbox in fresh test menu bar. All right. And then just look for automations. You can just type in the search box in fresh test, click on this in fresh test. Now, uh, there are three types of automation rules. Okay. I'm just going to walk you through one by one in fresh test. Uh, the easiest one is the ticket creation. So which mean? The automation rules in Fresh Test will run it whenever there's every ticket being created in Fresh Test, which means whenever you receive any emails, okay, the tickets is being created in Fresh Test. So the easiest one is I want to explain this, okay? So very simple. They have some items created as a sample. So let me delete that, okay? So easy to delete. Just click on these three dots in Fresh Test and hit on delete, okay? So the automations for the ticket creation, first thing, very simple. For all the emails that I've received in my inbox, I want to assign to a particular agent. So, so you can choose match any rules of the following or match all rules. Okay, I want to match all rules. So in tickets, if the two email is through my inbox, okay, this is an example. And then there is another condition it must fulfill together in fresh is that maybe in this ticket, um, the subject title contains, it can be is or contains account. Okay. I want it to, so these are the conditions, which mean the conditions, let us just repeat it. The condition that I'm setting to fresh is that is the ticket created is true. My, uh, my Gmail, which is a support email. And the subject title contains the wording of account. I wanted to assign to my account personnel, right? So you can choose choose to perform the actions. Uh, you can want to you want to assign to the agents. Uh, call Jun. Uh, call hello. Okay, and then you can preview and save. So let's give a ticket a name. So I'll be very very specific. So uh, it is uh, operation related to email my support email plus subject title contains account okay assign to hello why i be so specific in these rules because at the end of the day once you know how to set up all these rules you may end up like having 30 rules or like 20 rules in your fresh test and sometimes whenever there is a change in agents someone left your company you may want to change the fresh test assigning right that's why you need to change all this so all this i learned because of my five years experience in using fresh test okay <laughs> so after you've done that just click uh, preview and save and then it will actually reconfirm with you again. When the ticket is created and to the email is this email and a subject content account that assigned to this hello, save and enable. Okay. So for example, you want to create another rules. So let me just create another rules. So this rule, maybe in this ticket, you want to add extra filter. You can create extra filter as well. Like for example, in the scenario just now, in ticket uh, to email, it's my email, my customer support email. Okay. Remember, if let's say you guys want to get some support, you have to sign up using my fresh test effort link, which I input here, and then you can email me and I can help you with any things that you need help 
especially when using your fresh desk okay remember you must sub, um you must actually sub using my freshest link at the description box down below okay and you can set like additional filter and remember the additional filter can be like and or or when it's or it means that this ticket it's either um uh, to email is through this support email or maybe you insert another email and the email is through another email so it can be another support email that you have like maybe customer service at your domain.com so it means that it whenever this ticket fulfill either one of the criteria and it will actually perform this action below and there are so many different actions that um the fresh desk can actually automate for you i'm not just going to go through one by one but literally it will be anything related to the ticket status but one thing that actually helped me the most is like you can be like you can set the type you can set the status and and also the first thing that is very important is when you are able to assign to particular agent okay like right now, I already assigned to a particular agent. Another thing, if let's say you want to send reminders to your fresh test agent to remind them to do certain things inside of fresh test, you can also send email to the um to the agents as well as send email to the requester. So what is the requester? The requester is the person who actually send email to your support system. So which which means is actually your clients, all right? Whoever created the ticket is the requester. So there are so many also uh, different scenarios where you're able to um, set the conditions. Like you can set like in the ticket, what is the subject title? If the subject title in fresh test contains a certain keyword or the description or both or the type or the status and the source, where does this source come from? Is it from Facebook? You can actually even connect your Facebook page with your fresh desk. So it is very useful. So this is what we are talking about in terms of the automate automations in fresh desk uh, for the ticket creation. Okay, now let us just go back to the automation. Remember, we created we were just talking about ticket creation. Okay, one thing that I want to take talk to you guys is about executing first matching rule all right what does it mean for executing first matching rule in fresh test ticket creation automation so in fresh test whenever a ticket is being created uh, especially at ticket creation you may want to assign a specific rule for this ticket right okay so means that when this ticket enter into your fresh test who does it need to be assigned to what type what kind of status they need to set and what kind of other type of ticket that it belongs to. So only one rule can apply to this ticket when it creates. So maybe when your company grows, when you have been using Fresh Test for a long time, you may have almost like me 30 over rules at the ticket creation because I have a lot of different conditioning, right? So obviously, when a ticket created, you cannot apply 30 over rules on this ticket. Because when it is being created, it's only being created once and only one rule can apply. So that's the reason why when you want to arrange the rules that in a mixed sense order where the ticket will be executing on the first rule. Like for example, if today there's a ticket being created, enter into your system. So you have created five rules here. I have two rules here. So when the first rule applied to my ticket and the rule will stop there it will not apply to the second rule or the third rule and the fourth rule because only one rule can apply to the ticket so what it essentially means is this this is a strategy on arranging the rule okay i have finance team as well as operation customer service team so i want to make sure that all the tickets that belong to account like you know refunds belong to finance because they contain private and confidential items that I do not want operation team to check, right? So I have the finance team and they are talking about PNC info. And then you have operation team, which is super general. It's like a customer service, customer service, super general. All right. So when you are arranging the rule, you want to make sure that you arrange the rule applied to finance department at the top first then only you arrange the rules that apply to the super general one at the bottom so how you arrange it is like super specific specific less specific 
and general. So because at the end of the day, you want the first rule applied to the sp- super specific, um, super specific items. So it's like if the um subject contains account contains like the wording like payment you want to first apply to the finance department so that's where these rules related to the finance department rules it have to be arranged at first does it make sense to you so i i I, you may not understand what is the importance as of now and i assure you do not worry as you use more of the fresh test and you want to know do more of the automation it is easier for you to comprehend how the fresh test works but not worry if you are signing up using my uh, referral link of fresh test which is the link over here link.junlo.co slash fresh test you can get support from me and you can ask me any question you can actually send me a dm at my facebook at facebook.com slash junlo story i've been using it for the past five years so that i know the in and out for all the shortcuts okay so this is all about the ticket creation so now we are going to move on to the time triggers. So what does time triggers work on? So for the time triggers, it can up- execute all the matching rules because um, when it talks about time triggers, it can be like after this ticket is being created for about three days, six days or one hour, two hours, right? So obviously in a timeline of the ticket, it can execute at every moment of the ticket unlike ticket creation it can only apply to it when if being first created it can only have one rule but for time trigger is really based on a timeline okay time trigger is based on the timeline so it isn't based on ticket created so that's why it can execute our rules so let's check about these are the two important uh, rules that um, fresh test has already created for you i'm just going to use this to explain to you guys why is it important to turn it on so remember every single time that i close a ticket like for example i resolve a matters for the client in the fresh test i actually pick the status as resolve i don't actually close them okay which means what i'm referring to is this okay usually from open once i reply to my client i will actually click resolve i don't actually close them the reasons that i'm not closing them is because sometimes after you reply to a client you put it under resolve your client may actually reply to you they are interested to they they have further inquiries that's where they'll reply to you and then the ticket will become open again right so that's where these time triggers you don't want you have too many tickets under resolve but it is not being closed so you want this fresh test automatically close the ticket for you so let's check out um how these rules happen the rule says that in the ticket if the status is resolved or you can add to more different status like this give you any other um, imagination like you can change from status to status based on the time trigger and if the tickets if hours since resolve is greater than 24 hours if the ticket has been resolved for more than 24 hours and obviously you can change to 48 if you want and you can add any more status um all right and then you want fresh test to automatically perform these actions to you which means set the new status as close once the ticket it's more than 24 or 48 hours again you can set a lot of bunch of things like status type priority like I give you another scenario maybe you want to make sure like when the ticket as of now if it is becoming a low priority if the priority let, let me just give you another another scenario if the priority is low or medium okay this is or um and in ticket since maybe it has not been resolved right it first assign maybe in the ticket since first assign when you're first assigned to a particular agent uh is greater than three hours you want to be able to send an email uh to an agent okay to assign agent or any agents right and then you can input a subject title okay input your subject title so you can send some templates reminder to them so this is how awesome that uh, fresh types can help you to do like i'll give you another scenario how i'm i'm using this time trigger so uh in our company what we need to do is that we need to send quotation some of the tickets we need to send quotation send quotation to our clients right and then after we send a quotation to client 
a lot of the times that client don't actually come back to us whether they want it or not we do not know so it's our agents in our fresh test their responsibility to kind of like follow up the agents but no one we have so many cases in every single day in our fresh test portal no one can remember like how many emails that have sent out so we actually rely on this time trigger to kind of like send reminders to our agent so uh the time trigger that we set it's something like this uh we said well because when we send out a quotation we set a status in a particular status like we create a status called pending quotation for example when a ticket status is at pending quotation and uh and then we said like if the hour since we re since we replied to the client uh or since uh, since the ticket is created to the client it's more than 72 hours but less than 73 hours meaning in that hour uh more than 72 hours but less than 73 hours okay and then send an email to our agents that remind remember to follow up with clients so so these are the things that you can do based on the time triggers it is it works really well for us but not to worry if you have not thought of any use case scenario i'm just going to introduce to you to different types of rules that can apply i don't have so many different rules up until that we have been using freshers for over six months to one year then only we know how we can fully utilize all the different rules of fresh test and auto automation in fresh test so the lastly is a ticket update okay when you go to ticket updates so it also the same it will is going to execute all the matching rules okay and then when you execute all the matching rules there are two that i would suggest you to turn it on so the first one is automatically assigned to the first rep Oh, sorry um i would suggest you automatically reopen tickets when a client uh, customer responds so what this rule means that whenever you have re let's assume that you have resolved a ticket okay by right it's not in the open status right but whenever the client re reply to you because of further questions the ticket will automatically reopen again in fresh test and this is super important so that your agents in fresh test will not miss out any tickets i would recommend it to turn it on so this is when ticket is being updated and actions performed by the requester the requester means whoever sent up the emails and then uh, it will actually send an email to the assigned agent so for this i will actually turn it on so what these rules what you are going to do is like whenever there is any certain ticket updates on the ticket what are the actions that you want fresh test to perform so and they actually give you some samples rules over here you guys can have a check uh, but i actually use most of the rules at the ticket creation and ticket tri triggers i seldom use ticket updates so maybe that can give you some ideas on uh, how you can plan your automation as well so if you are super overwhelmed at this moment please do not overwhelm yourself i in this video i'm just going to explain how you can set up automation but when i first started out in fresh test i don't set up so many automation i only set up at the ticket creation so this video is only teaching you the different automation rules and if you need help feel free to sign up under my uh, referral link of fresh test which is at link.junlo.co slash fresh test and i'll be able to support you and i'm able to advise you because i've been using this for a long time and also if you have been loving uh, my fresh test video tutorial please give me some comments down below or give me a like and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can encourage me to do more video like this and tutorial like this in fresh test to help you better and also if you've been loving um how i use all the automation tool i am in love in automation tool and i always use automation tools to find different software to actually get more leads and sales especially relying on facebook linkedin uh, or scrapping of email as well if you want to know what kind of like software i'm using to automate my business and to get more leads and sales in facebook and facebook group you can go to my website junlow.net slash all software junlow.net slash all software and i'll be seeing you in the next fresh test video tutorial then take care